learn how to live with it, but hopefully will not see our lives dominated by it. Welcome to Newsday, reporting live from Singapore. I'm Karishma Viswani. The headlines. Oh, wow. We're getting visual confirmation. Oh, NASA successfully crashes a probe into an asteroid to test how any incoming space rock could be deflected away from Earth. The Kremlin admits it made mistakes in the way it mobilized reservists to fight in Ukraine as protests against the call-up continue. Some Russians are happy to answer President Putin's call, but clearly many are not. And in some parts of the country, mobilization is sparking social unrest and undermining trust in the authorities. A state funeral is set to get underway for former Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe as leaders from around the world gather to pay their respects. And I'm Marie Goy outside Budokan, where the event will be taking place this afternoon. But there's been growing opposition from protesters, citing the legitimacy and the cost. And work begins to remove the tens of thousands of floral tributes left to honour the Queen in central London. Live from our studio in Singapore. This is BBC News. It's Newsday. Hello and welcome to the programme. Well, within the last hour, scientists at NASA have crashed a spacecraft into an asteroid, destroying itself in the process. The mission was designed to test whether space rocks that might threaten the Earth could be nudged safely out of the way. Now, I know we usually bring you a lot of harrowing news, but have a listen to this. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Eight, yeah. Seven, 